All right. So nothing is the new nothing OS 2 update for the phone one and it is supposed to bring quite a lot of new features which can be seen in the phone 2. And as usual, this is still based on Android 13. So take it as a skin update and not an Android version update. But it is actually a stable update and as we all knew it was coming. So I did not share that leaked beta version video and instead jumped the ship to this one. So I did update my unit to let you guys know if you should try out this version or not the pros and cons it has and how you can update your device to this version so watch this video till the end to know each and every detail before you update your phone one to this version so on that note we finally have the new update with us and it is now rolling out to all users in phases and before we get into all the tiny details make sure to tap on that subscribe button if you haven't already and in case you wish to watch this video in hindi language Here is a card to the Bit Tech Hindi channel. The update has a version number 2.0 and weighs almost 1 gigabyte in size, and has a bunch of changes as per the change log. So to update your device, you just have to go to Settings, click on System, choose System Updates from the list, and click on Check for Updates, and you will get this OTA on your device. But wait, let's start off with the benchmark scores first. So on Geekbench on the previous version, that was on Android 13 itself. The device used to score 818 in single core and 2945 in the multi core score, and now it scores around 805 in single core and 2924 in the multi core score, which is kind of similar to the last version. On the Android 2, the device used to score around 5 lakh 32 thousand points, and now it scores around 5 lakh 11 thousand points. And like I always say, these scores are only for your reference and do not mean that much in the real world usage. So the reality check will be in front of you once I use this for a few days and I'll share with you my observations in the full review so stay tuned for that Coming back to the new features and right from the boot animation you will start to feel the differences that are here with this version This new nothing OS is now taking up its own identity which isn't a bad thing by any means and until it stays close shock and right I'm happy with it Now on the lock screen we have the new widgets and you can add them under the lock screen widgets option in lock screen settings i really like these because i can do a lot more with these options and they are not dumb but interactive widgets and you can add quite a few of them here or add any quick settings like turning off the wifi mobile data or whatever you like and these widgets are even accessible from always on display too so that's a good thing to have plus it looks kind of refreshing The pin screen has also changed and looks more in line with this whole new UI. Also, don't forget to update the Nothing launcher on the Play Store after this update as that will enable new features like the material UI icons and so on. In Launcher 2, there are a bunch of changes and starting off with the new quick shortcuts menu that you can access after long pressing any app icons. The animations are also buttery smooth even till now and I like the refinements done here. You can also add widgets on your home screen and achieve something like this very very easily actually and it is quite functional just like it is on the lock screen and you can interact with the widgets easily you can also hide the app labels and make it look even more cleaner and we also have this new app grid as you can see overall the layout and ui has changed here and it looks more polished instead of half baked like it used to be with the version 1.0 Overall the system UI and launcher is quite close to stock Android E until now and I appreciate that we have the new volume panel which looks good but I was expecting better haptic feedback while adjusting the volume as there is nothing till now and I feel like they should have added that in this version but it is what it is apart from this we have some much needed features like the app cloner or cloned app which means you can finally use two WhatsApp accounts and not just that you can clone any application you like and use two accounts on your device at the same time which is very handy for those of you who use one device both for work and home so that's great second feature is the app locker which was also very much requested by many many users and i'm quite glad to see these couple of new features making their way to this new version and this will help many of you the glyph interface is also updated now and we have the new ui here that looks something like this and it looks more sorted than before though there are only 3 toggles to control the brightness as of now instead of slider like we had before so there are some new refinements here too like the essential notifications 
So with this feature, you can keep a single side of lights to stay on in case you miss a notification from the app. For example, I missed a call and as you can see, the LED will stay on until I turn on my device and interact with the notification, which makes these glyph lights even more useful than before. There is also this new composer with which you can make your own custom glyph ringtones and you might it fun to play around with. And by the way, many of you wanted to use these glyph lights as a torch, right? So there you have it. You can now just long press on the torch tile in the notification bar and it will turn on the glyph lights as a torch, as you can see right here. The brand did actually listen to the user feedbacks, something I really appreciate. Though they did not bring features like the order tracking in glyphs to the Nothing Phone 1 and I feel like they could have done that easily too. The notification shade has little tweaks and the new brightness slider. And again, I was expecting better haptics to be implemented here with the slider, but sadly, nothing like that has done here. Other than this, we have the usual Android 13 features here, like the clipboard and all. And that new media player still doesn't have the sperm animation, which I would have loved to see here. In the settings, the UI has changed slightly too, with a lot more focus on polishing the overall options, including the about phone page, which now looks a lot cleaner than before. If I talk about the battery life after initial few hours, it seems fine, but I'll have to test it out thoroughly once it adapts to my usage to claim anything. Also, the device is now on August 23 security patch, which is the latest one till now. Plus, the apps like Netflix and Google Pay are working fine with this update. So something you should know. Coming to the camera part now, and here the UI has changed slightly, especially the other options. And now we have the motion photo option here, plus the new toggles and settings seem much more user friendly for everyone. So here are some quick samples from the main camera and some shots before and after the update. So as you can see with the samples, nothing much has changed here with the quality and I'll take a lot more samples before sharing the final judgment here. Talking about the issues, well I did not find anything major as such thankfully till now and they finally added some of the most requested features to this version but missed out on better haptic implementation and I would say overall it seems pretty stable as of now but what do you feel about this version? Do let me know in the comment section down below. So yeah, these are all the changes that you get with the Nothing OS 2 update on the phone one and if you do end up liking this video, make sure to press that like button and that bell icon if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.